Hey guys, what is going on? It is Fresh and I am back again bringing you guys another squad builder in today's squad builder. I mean, if you watched my RVP review yesterday, then you will know that RVP is going to be in this squad. But I didn't want to show the rest of the squad because this team just played that well for me that I just had to make a squad builder on it and kind of just show it off. So anyways, on to go. First off, we're going to be using Salvatore Sirigu. This guy was an exceptional keeper. First off, his diving and reflexes really saved me a lot of times. Man, this guy was great when it came to uh, saving those power shots. The handling, he has some okay handling, but I mean, he did have some dirt moments where he just like completely, like he dropped the ball when he could have caught it. But that 85 positioning really helped me a lot too. When I didn't just rush him out, this guy was in a great position and stopped a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations. So this guy is definitely an exceptional keeper for only a thousand coins. And he even got me the assist too. Like that's pretty funny if you ask me. But now on to the center backs. We're going to be using Tiago Silva and Marquinhos on the uh, right-hand side just to give that triple link off. Now Tiago Silva is the best center back in the world currently, in my opinion, both on the game and in real life. This guy is such a great player. 80 pace, 87 defending, and 83 heading. The pace, he feels rapid. The 87 defending, don't get me started, man. This guy is such a great defender. And an 83 heading, thank God, man. Because in FIFA 13, I don't know. He didn't win that many corners, but this guy won a lot of corners for me. Um, I mean, he only won two corners. As you see there, he got me two goals. But it's just the way he won, and I really loved it. Like, this guy is such a great uh, defender. And Marquinhos isn't even that bad either. Um, I got him, like, the first day, uh, the web app. And it cost me a lot of 1,400 coins. So his price is a lot cheaper. He's probably, like, 650 at most. But, um, I mean, 78 pace, uh, 78 defending, and 72 heading. And he has a send on him, which ups his uh, defending and heading by three. Really great player. This guy even won me a couple of corners, got me a couple of assists, too. So that's uh, he's really a nice style of player for a non-rare card. Now, on to the left back, we're going to be using Jordi Alba. I absolutely love this guy in FIFA 13, and I was excited to try him out on FIFA 14, and this guy is still a great fullback. Um, 92 pace, 82 dribbling, 79 defending, something that really stood out to me, even the 76 passing. You see there he got him two, uh, two assists. Really great left back. You know, he did what I needed him to do. You know, pushed up, he attacked, created some chances, and ran back to start defending again. And that's kind of what I asked out of my uh, fullbacks. And then my right back is going to be Raphael. He was uh, he was an okay right back. You know, he didn't stand out as much as Jordi Alba did. But he did give me an assist. So that was really uh, nice. And he was only 700 coins. So he definitely did do his job for the value that I got for him. Now, our first CDM is actually going to be a CM. And it's going to be Mikel Arteta. And um, our CDM is going to be Chabi Alonso. Now, Mikel Arteta is out of position because... His CDM version is going for like 5,000 coins, and I wasn't having it. So um, I put him out of the cinema anyways, and he still will get full chemistry. But that um, the 86 passing was really stood out to me. The 73 defending was okay, but I love the, uh, the 86 passing, and this guy has one hell of a shot on him. So I was glad that, um, that I was able to put him in this squad. And four goals and three assists definitely isn't that bad. I mean... One of the goals that he got for me, it's like he was literally like standing still and he just shot and it somehow went in. I don't know. It was just amazing and I love this guy and he kind of fits the CDM role. And Chabi Alonso, he's just, oh my God, man. The medium high work rate, first of all, just keeps him in this position. Then he has the great defending, the 88 passing. He got 10 assists. I mean, the 88 passing is just exceptional. He even scored himself a nice goal. What a great player. 4,200 coins definitely is not that bad for him. Now, our left mid is actually going to be a left winger. Um, he's also out of position, too, just because of the fact that it was so much more expensive than it needed to be. So, I got him in the left wing instead, and he will still get full chemistry. But David Villa is such a great player, man. This, I just abused him finesse shot with him i swear this guy gave me some really nice overpower finesse shots i don't even know how to explain it like i barely did power shots with him just because i knew how good his finesse shots were and four star skills and weak foot it is upsetting that he doesn't have five star weak foot anymore but i mean i just put him on his right foot uh 
hold down the right bumper, and then poof, the finesse shot just goes in. So a really great player, six goals, and one assist definitely isn't that bad for 5,000 coins. Now the right mid now, Nani. This guy easily outshunned David Villa. Now I love David Villa, but Nani was just... Slapping in the goals, man. Five-star week for four-star skill moves. 20,000 coins. He is worth it, if you ask me. He has 84 pace, but it feels like it is a bit faster than that. He has some great passing on him. Some uh, He has a beautiful shot on him, man. This guy scored me a nice... Uh, Nice, uh, nice goals in the uh, in the box. So I was really impressed with that. Um, you'll see some of them in there because some of them were just at some weird angles. I'm just like, how did you get that past the keeper? But really great and exceptional player. Seven goals, three assists. Definitely isn't that bad. Now for the center attacking midfielder. Now here's where we get serious. Santi Cazola. one of the best players in this team, easily if not the second best. Um. Just a great player, five star weak foot, four star skill moves, nine goals and ten assists. He was oh my gosh, you could just slam it in on either of his feet. His 85 passing gave uh, beautiful through balls to the striker, great dribbling, and his shot was just on another level, man. I'm telling you, I can just go outside post on either of his feet, and I would not have to worry about if it was gonna go in or not because Santi was just dominating those games. Nine goals, 10 assists, really great. And only 21,000 coins. I feel like he is definitely worth it. But now our striker is going to be RVP now. If you haven't seen my review, go ahead and check it out. I, I put up the review yesterday, but this guy is a great player. I'm not going to talk too much about him, but his left foot is just simply amazing. And 154,000 coins definitely is not that bad for him. And he has four-star skills and weak foot. With a high-low work rate, that is just great. And 18 goals. What else can I really say? But um, anyways, guys, this is a squad. It cost me around 300,000 coins. I'll link down the foothead uh, squad link down below because they're going to have a more accurate price of it. But uh, yeah, everybody is on 10 chemistry and the manager pretty much kind of helps with that also. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the squad, guys. Let me know anything that I can do to make these squad reviews more better and entertaining for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the goals. Peace. Looking down in astonishment that my heart is beating I'm still breathing My body was freezing You stopped the bleeding You bring me to life